Oh my god, how innocent we were. How little we knew. We knew nothing. We knew nothing. Uh, but we've also got other things like Emile's Memories, which takes place in Ni Automata, that we did prior to uh, Route B's ending when we played for the first time. But I somehow feel that it will hit a little bit differently given the context. Uh, played it originally, the music was nice. It had a very nostalgic tune to it, but without the context, you kind of don't know what to expect. Because uh, if you if you remember, and I remember little bits and pieces of it, you travel around in Nier Automata, and if you find all the Lunar Tears, Emil takes you to a certain secret location that's locked. And um, I think it'll... I think it'll hit a little different. I think it'll hit a little different. Back in the 1080p days. I could buy you, I don't know, a t-shirt maybe? Something that looks good on you. A t-shirt? What, not interested? Hmm, when that day comes, I'm all for it. That's a promise, right? Yep. Ah. Progress. And here's the lunatic. Here we go. Uh, that's a strange flower. Analysis, it is a plant known as a lunar tear. A lunar tear. There he is! Huh? When did you get here? So this flower is called a lunar tear. Seeing that dredges up all kinds of memories. Some of them are a bit strange, honestly. Like the one where I'm being attacked by a giant boar over and over again. Or another where I keep trying out new parts every time my body is damaged. Sounds rough. At the time, I was like, what the fuck is he talking about? Oh my god! Something about this flower fills me with an emotion I don't really understand. Oh yeah, even this hits different. It's like something's pushing down on my chest really hard. So, um, do you mind if I ask you a favor? If you find lunar tears growing anywhere else, would you let me know? I want to try and figure out what this feeling is all about. What do you say? How many of these do we need to get though? Aw, th if you find another lunar tear, just let me know on this frequency, all right? You know what would be an epic thing? If Kuma actually had timestamps. Does Kuma have timestamps? Kuma does not have timestamps. So Kuma will now have timestamps. Uh, I'm going to be that guy. Uh, it was 18 for the first lunar tier. I'm going to be that guy. First lunar tier. Let, let, let's be that guy. Let's actually do something for the community. Uh, that was the first lunar tier. There it is. This is a lunar tier, right? Oh boy. We better let Emil know. Oh my god, he's basically hey there, Nico. Guys. What's up? We found a lunar tear. It's located at Stay right there! I'm coming! Uh okay. I hope he doesn't expect me to just stand here all he's day. He's basically Nico. <laughs> Sorry to keep you. Oh hey. Now that I think about it, this whole area was once Are you remembering something? It's all pretty fuzzy, but I seem to have a memory of caring for this flower a long time ago. But the sand kept expanding, and the flowers gradually wilted. Now that I think about it, that was around the same time I stopped seeing people. You mean humans? This feels like this area is where the town was. Because... If it was caring about people in this area... This forest is where the town was. And I'm just trying to think of it geographically because this is located here. There's like a shopping center. Somehow. That we never encounter. And then you can get to a desert on the other side of it. Thanks a bunch for finding this. Really. Oh, and let me know if you find any more, okay? I'm gonna stay here for a bit. That's two. There he is. If Emil's here, there's a lunar tear. Here we go. It's a lunar tear. I'd better tell Emil. Here he comes. 
I'm scared to upgrade her weapon. Hey there. What's going on? <laughs> First I found problems. one of those flowers you were looking for. It's over at Don't move an inch. I'm coming. I swear to god Nico was Don't based off that Emil. I'm actually kind of busy. Sorry to keep you. Damn, you're fast. You should be a pizza delivery That's guy. That's it. I remember now. Back when the aliens first invaded, I fought as hard as I could to save Earth. All right. You did? I think I had something I wanted to protect. So after Replicant, the aliens invade. Something really precious to me, but I don't know what it was. Thank you for finding this. You'll let me know if you find any more, right? I'm gonna stay here for a bit. Oh, wow. damn. Oh my god. That is... Dude... After Replicant, that gives you so much. I mean, without Replicant, it's like, yeah, alien invasion. Yeah, half naked robots, who cares? After Replicant, it's like, oh god, what happened here? Thank god for that. Thank you, thank you very much. It's a lunar tear. Thank you very much. Tell Emil. How the f is he gonna get here? <laughs> How does he get over the rocks? How? Sorry to keep you. You're bloody Nico. I knew it. Speedy as always, I see. Oh. oh, that's right. What happened here, Emil? I was fighting the aliens. It wasn't going well, so I decided to create multiple versions of myself to help with the fight. But the aliens just kept coming. I lost so many friends that day. It was a long time ago, but still. Say, Emil, how old are you anyway? I'm not sure. I didn't need that memory to fight. Thank you for finding this. You'll let me know if you find any more, right? I'm gonna stay here for a bit. So there's basically one more. And Poor guy. Poor guy. So they invade and he lost his friends. He kept dividing. He lost his memory because he was dividing to fight them. It poor guy. Poor guy. One thing I would strongly advise would be replaying for or rewatching the last chapter of Automata, which starts right before you enter the tower. It feels so much different. See, here's why I didn't delete my save file. This type of shit. I had a feeling this would happen. I had a feeling this would happen. I, I would really want to replay it. My god, I, I am pitting this. The community needs this. So good. How the f is he gonna get here? Hey there, what's up? Let's go. Oh man, here we go. Oh god. Alright, Emil's lap. Oh god. Alright, so you have to go down. So the shopping center is Let's above. do this. Her house and where the area was. That makes sense. Let's do all the side missions that before explains finishing the, cliffs. the game. Why that not? That explains the cliffs. So it's done. Oh, shit. All the flowers. Dude. It's beautiful. Dude, they must have planted this. Why does this feel like a graveyard? Wow. Look at all the lunar tears. Where are we? Don't step on him, 2B. Thank you for coming. Emil, what is this place? It's the place from my memories that I work so hard to protect. Or, to be exact, the place protected by the person I used to be. Uh, sorry. I don't get it. So different. A long time ago, I was created to be a weapon. A weapon that could adapt to any environment, and one capable of total destruction. You're... a weapon? When the war against the aliens started, I decided to strengthen that weapon by creating copies of myself. Interesting. So, in truth, I'm only one of a countless number of Emils. I, or we, I guess, worked with each other to keep our defensive lines intact. 
But the more of ourselves we created, the more our original memories began to fade. The original Emil liked this place a lot. He spent a lot of time here with people he loved. They were tough times, sad times. But the memories of that journey were his greatest treasure. And I have a few traces of those memories in my own mind. Where's the original Emil now? I don't know. There were so many of us that after a while, we just... Oh. And there's still something that all of us Emils need to settle. Hmm? Ah, oh, right. I should probably repay you for all of your help. Please take this. Lunar tear? It's said that a lunar tear can make any wish come true. Thank you. Oh, no. I'm the one who should be thanking you. And even this hits different. He gives her a lunar tear and she's like, thank you. <laughs> that hits so fucking different! <laughs> You've helped me find some of my precious memories. Now I'll be able to keep pushing forward, even if I'm alone. Oh my god, how innocent we were. How little we knew. We knew nothing. We knew nothing. By the way, spoilers, if you haven't played Automata, shut your ears now, children. Shut your fucking ears now. How the- oh my god. No, you didn't delete your save because you wanted to be a dick. No, I saved my save files forever. Even if I deleted it, I would have just copied it anyway. Yeah, that's why you come back to Automata. Your experience from Nita Epic and will change the experience for Automata. That's the beauty of it. I actually want to replay it because it will feel like a completely different game. You can enjoy it absolutely brand new like we did. And with Replicant, it's going to be so better. The song isn't even in the official near OST, or at least I don't remember finding it. It's only Replicant OST. Um... I don't know. I, I've... The beginning part is, but I think when the tune hits in, it's actually from Replicant. I posted a short scene script from Automata Play if you're interested. It shows how kind of A2 are connected. Cool. Is it in the Discord? Vice! You dumbass! Start making sense, you rotten book, or you're gonna be sorry! Maybe I'll rip your pages out one by one, or maybe I'll put you in the goddamn furnace! How can someone with such a big smart brain get hypnotized like a little bitch, huh? Oh, Shadow Lord, I love you, Shadow Lord! Come over here and give Vice a big sloppy kiss, Shadow Lord! Now pull your head out of your goddamn ass and start fucking helping us! 